here is the re review of Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Class Long Haul. As you can see, he is, as you can tell here, a d dump truck. And, and it looks really nice and very cool looking. And I will also have to say this, and th this is just my opinion, and that is long haul in the Revenge of the Fallen series is like the, the only Constructicon member that's colored in the correct color scheme because long haul in both Revenge of the Fallen and the G1 cartoon were both colored green. Whereas the other Constructicon members from, from the Revenge of the Fallen movie are just colored in, in r random c color schemes. And, and some of the, the Constructicon members in the Revenge of the Fallen movie were not part of De De Devastator. Well, there, there were a, a couple of them that, that were part of the uh, of the C Constructicon members, including Long Haul here, but there were also a, a couple m more of him that were not part of the C Constructicon m members. But onto the figure here. And let's get in a closer look here. Y you can see it does have the, the nice grill black painted grill here on the front as well as some red paint here and it does have the numbers 1214 here and oh, yeah he also has some translucent clear headlights here Yeah, on the sides here and also on the front here, on both sides here, and it does have the translucent clear ca canopy or co cockpit se section here. And on the sides here, he does have the nice D Decepticon logo here. Has some red paint here. And, and he does have some green paint on the t tires here. And he does have a number of six tires. Two on the front and four on the back here. Which are these two connected together here. But they, they don't roll independently. They just only roll in one piece here. And here's the back here, and the top here where the 
dump dump truck thing here is at where he dumps th things and here's the other side here and all around looks really nice and he does roll really well of course And he does only have one f feature in him in in his d dump truck mode, and that is, of course, you can m move the the bed of the d dump truck here. The, this is called the b bed of the dump truck. And that is, you can bring it back so you can have him like he's dumping down some dirt. And also, as you his wheels just came untabbed. And as you move the dumper part up, some pistons here will move. As you can see here. And this is like the Me Mecha Life gimmick here. You can see. about it for the d dump truck mode. So now let's transform him. T to start off the transformation you're going to take these side panels here of the b bed of the dump truck and untap them from these three pegs here to these three holes here and then you just want to bring them out and you do want to take what will become his hands in robot mode and flip them out and you can leave these like this but what you can also do is you can bring them out so they look like this. H however you want to display these. But I like to have them look like this. And then you do the same on the other side. And then for the bed itself here, you're going to bring it all the way back. And you do want to take this part here and flip it in. And for the front here, you're going to untap the, the, the front part of the dump truck and bring it down. And the front part taps into these two pegs and these two black holes here and then you want to take the, the cab part here untap it and bring it all the way up and you do want to 
take the fr front part of the, the dump truck and and you do want to separate it in half and bring them out. Then you want to take his robot mode legs here and untab them. And, and you do want to bring them out. And for these front wheels, you're going to untap them and bring them all the way down. So they look like this. You can see here. And do the same thing on the other side. And then for his feet, you want to reach inside here and flip out the heel spurs. And for these things, you want to bring these in so they look like this and then you want to take these things and flip them in so they look like this and this tab is where that hole goes into so it looks like that And then you just position his feet. And then you want to take his waist here and bring it up. And these two holes is where these two pegs goes into. And then you just want to rotate his arms down. Now, now for the back here, you want to take the, this part here and bring it all the way down and this tab is going to go into that hole right there. And then you want to take what was the back tires, untap them from these two holes and these two pegs and bring it all the way back. And then you want to separate the back tires and bring them out. And you do want to bring down this section all the way down so it, so it looks like this. And then you want to rotate his tires around so they look like this. Well, you, you can position these however you want. Like, you can either have them like this, or like this, or you can angle, angle them up if you want to. So, so you have some options here of however you want to display these back tires, but I like to have them like this. And you're done. And now let me get them all positioned. So we can take a look at him in robot mode. And he, he looks great. 
in his robot mode. And j just like I said in his veal commode, he is colored in the correct Constructicon color scheme, which is gr green, like he has been in the G G1 cartoon. Unlike the, the others, in the Revenge of the Fallen movie where they're just colored in random co colors. But this one is colored in the correct Constructicon color scheme. So let's get a closer look here. As you can see, his face here. He does have some t teal paint on his face with some, yes. He also has some red eyes painted. And he has the same one two one four number here on both sides here of his chest and he does have a little bit of silver on his chest and his arms here he, he does have some teal paint on his elbows here And, and his legs here. And, and his feet does have another, like, Mechalive gimmick. And, and even his head. Well, on his chest here. And here's the side view here. And the other side here. And the back here. He, he, he does have like, like not, not a lot of backpack kibble, but just, j just a little bit of backpack kibble on him. But here's the back here. And all around, he looks like a really cool looking robot mode. And for articulation, His head can only swivel all the way around, and as you swivel his head, you can see on his chest, he does have some mech alive in his chest, and that is, this gear does move when you move his head all the way around. And his arms can rotate all the way around on a ratchet, but they do kind of hinder the, the wheels here. But you can move these out of the way to have his arms move all the way around. They can move in and out. He does have a bicep swivel. And he does have an elbow joint, but it only bends here on this joint. And, and, and the same p pistons do move because these were formed as the, the bed of the D 
dump truck mode. And his legs can go forward, back, on a ratchet. Well, they, they do go forward for no problems, but they, they can't really move back that good because th this part here does hinder it. But, but they can move in and out. Well, they only move out to about here because, again, this part does hinder it. Does have a thigh swivel, a a single jointed knee here, I, I thought he would have like a, a d double jointed knee, but, but, but he doesn't. Well, oh, he, he does have a, a double jointed knee, but th these parts here do hinder it. And his feet can move up and down, and, and he does have another mech alive gimmick here, where if you move his foot up and down, these things move as well. And that's it. And he doesn't come with any accessories but he does have a couple of gimmicks in him and that is the these things here and what you do with these things is there's a a button here and when you push these you get two clear blades that pop out And you can either have them like this, or you can have them like this, however you want to, to display them. But I like to have them like this. long haul. So final thoughts. I really like how he looks in both modes. And I, I don't think I have any pr problems w with him. Well, I, I think my only problem with him is that the, the articulation on his legs is a bit limited, where if you move them forward, they don't have any problems. But when you move them back and move them in and out, they do get a little hindered due to th this part here hindering it. But everything else about him in both robot mode and in his dump truck mode looks amazing. And I also like how he's colored in the correct Constructicon 
color scheme, unlike the, the, the others from the Revenge of the Fallen series where they're just colored in with r random colors. And, and some, some of the, the Constructicon members from the Revenge of the Fallen movie were not part of the, the Constructicons. But, but, but a couple were, but there were a couple of others that were not. So I think that's about it. So there you have it. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Class Long Haul. And if you like this video, give me a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And if you want to check out some other videos you may have missed, there's a playlist set up on my YouTube channel. So I think that's about it. So Thanks for watching.